Hi, in this video I want to say a few words about my tour to Bivako Luka Vuerik, uh, which is exactly on the summit of the mountain called Foranon del Buink. I guess more people will remember just by the name of the Bivako than by the name of the mountain. The the uh, area belongs to the group of uh, Yovdi Montasio, which is the main peak here. I climbed it uh, many years ago and the text is in my site. So I am using this post from my site to show you some pictures and uh, to share my <clears throat> impressions about this place. Th this is actually the, the Bivako, which is on the summit of the mountain and uh, it's incredibly attractive place the access is relatively easy, assuming that there is no snow. So the uh, elevation is slightly above 2,500 meters. In the site I provide this uh, piece of a map and also the interactive Google map where you can see the access roads and everything. So uh, I I will show you a few pictures from the hut. This is how it looks when you arrive there. And uh, this is uh, inside. When I posted it on a Facebook group, uh, people couldn't believe that uh, this is a place without uh, guardian. But indeed it is. The hut was built by the family of Luca Weirich, a young man who who was killed in an accident in the mountains uh, close here to this place. So uh, obviously um, the, the family takes care about the, the, the hut, which is a beautiful place. This is the toilet outside and uh, you have really great views around. And there are goats everywhere. Uh, I have never seen a mountain with so many goats as in this area. The starting point is uh, Piani del Montasio, which is the place with the car access, so it is around 1500 meters. But when you uh, look this on the map, you should uh, search for Sela Navea Pass, which is uh, on the main road below. Again, all these details are in the map that I provide here in the site. So this is the the view from the car parking. I, I put a line here to describe how you get to the hut. Note that uh, on the way to the to the summit, you actually have another hut here, which is uh, Refugio Braza, and uh, this is all simple walk up, but uh, the time when I was there, there were many passages with snow that made things complicated. It was the last week of June, but the winter before they had lots of snow, so the, uh, it didn't melt and uh, there were some, a few tricky places to pass. For instance, this one. Uh, this is my view back and uh, there was a group of four Italian people or six, if I remember correctly, they spent the night in the hut and I met them here. So when I crossed, they were crossing in the opposite direction and uh, they were careful, of course, because uh, this doesn't look steep in the picture, but in reality it is very steep. So I continued and uh, you see you have these pleasant ledges and uh, I was at the hut uh, in under four hours. Well, the only unpleasant thing is that I didn't have food because I forgot it in the car, but I did have my coffee pot and I had a coffee in the hut. As for the equipment, I did carry very simple crampons uh, that I used on the snow passages because I expected the snow and I was, was using the Salomon Quest Prime boots and I had my ice axe with me. So this is me in front of the 
hot. It was a beautiful day for me. And um, I mentioned Jov de Montasio, so it is here. And this all um, range is actually the part of Jov de Montasio range. So, and this is the, the view in the opposite direction, Jov Huart, which I tried to climb a few days uh, later, but uh, there was again problem with the snow and I could, couldn't get to the summit. So this is all I wanted to, hear, to say here. Please follow the link below the video and you can read this text in detail. Thank you for watching.